and Lindsay Olson is about to join us. She is a licensed cosmetologist for over two decades, is a Red King Global artist for the last 14 years, and she was the 2020 U.S. L'Oreal uh, Color and Style Trophy winner for Natural Texture. Her skill set is so robust, and her attention to detail is stunning. So let's welcome the wildly talented Lindsay Olson and her live model. Hey, everybody. What's up? Good morning. Thank you so much, Katie and Cynthia team for that beautiful introduction. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait to watch you dive into this. So I'm going to cut you loose. We are going to dive right in. So you guys, I am super excited because I actually get to share with you guys something that is super new. Like it's so new that it's available August 1st, but I'm going to take you guys through how to use it on the beautiful Abby. So also show Abby some love today in the chat box um, because I'm super excited to be able to work on Abby's hair. So a couple things that are super important is prep before you do any styling. And I get asked this all the time, like even if it's just like a weekend wear look, and yeah, so no matter what I'm doing to the guests or model, I need to prep the hair. So before we dive into using this brand new tool that I cannot wait to share with you guys, there are multiple videos on my page, on Sam Hughes' page, that take me through what's called dry moussing. So the hair was prepped with Redken guts on the hair dry before we use the iron on. So whether you're doing a half up, half down style, or beach waves, or whatever it is, Dry and loose the hair first, and then you're going to be at this point. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to turn Abby so you guys can see. I am going to be working on diagonal back partings, and this, get ready, drum roll, because it's brand new, this one. So this is a single waiver iron, brand new, available August 1st. And what I love about this iron is it creates like a wave that, before this iron, takes a lot of work with a flat iron. So if you've ever taken a flat iron and done like motorcycle waves, it's called, and you've gone in and out and in and out, it is a lot of work where this iron literally does it in one step. And what's really, really exciting is we are always looking for new ways to style hair. So, and your guests are looking for new ways to style their hair. So a lot of us have mastered the beach wave. So what do we share with them next? And I love texture in the hair. And as you can see, Abby's texture naturally is a little bit finer and a little bit straighter. So what we want to do is pump it up and give it some loose, natural looking texture with this single waiver. So I am taking diagonal back sections on the front here. And the sections are about one inch deep, which is also super important because the bigger the section, the looser the wave. The smaller the section, the more crisp the wave will be. Now, here's the thing too. With that prep, when you take the iron to the hair, it's gonna look stiff. Trust the process because we want to make sure that it has some hold to it. So it's got to be really controlled first for us to then be able to loosen it up. So you want to see a little bit of like crispness to the hair when you are putting the iron to the hair. So that's going to come from the guts, number one, on the hair dry. So that's what we did before we're at this point. And now I'm also using another product called Hot Sets. And this is a high hold product from Redken, which is a heat protector. So I'm using both products to maximize the hold while I'm doing this because at the end, it's going to be super boho, super loose and effortless, but we still want it to last all day. And sometimes when you want something that looks effortless and uh, loose, it's hard to get it to last all day. So we still want that look, but also the longevity of it. So again, I'm working in diagonal back sections and we're using the brand new single waiver. Now I said it's brand new. It's available August 1st. So this is the iron. As you can see, it's got this big, just like one plate. What is in existence already that I also love is the double waver. So this is more like a mermaid braided wave where this looks more like uh, effortless, like flat iron wave. So if that can kind of help separate like the difference between the two. So I'm gonna take these one inch sections and working diagonal back. Now, if I get to a point on um, Abby's head here that's too wide, I'm gonna split the section so that I can maintain control over it as I'm working. I'm gonna also show you guys how to do a super cool, easy half, half up, half down style that looks kind of like a braid, but it's not a braid. So whether you love braids or don't love them, this one's gonna be for you because it's super easy to do. I'm using the hot sets and as you guys saw, lift the hair up, spray the product, instead of spraying it here because you could spray the sections that you just did. 
Now, Katie's with me this whole time too, and we have the chat box open. So anytime you guys have a question about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, please drop it in the chat box uh, so that we can make sure that you guys know all the things with us this morning on this Tuesday morning here. So again, here's my one inch section, diagonal back. Now, why diagonal back is because I am gonna put her here up. So one thing to consider is when it comes to styling, um, sectioning obviously plays a role with like the end result. So on Abby's hair, I'm doing diagonal back because I'm gonna do a half up, half down look. Now, if you guys might've saw the promo piece on my page, my story, Sam Media's page, I was using the iron on a different density of hair and I actually changed the position of the iron in the back. And I'm sure if you guys, what that looks like in just a moment. But it's one way that you can take one tool and still get like tons of different results with it. As I'm going, I'm also using the dry sectioning clips from Sandia. This clip, I know you guys are like, it's clip. This clip is like so important with styling because you don't want it to crease the hair while you're working. And think about it, this hair has some product already. It's got some substance to it. So as I'm working, I don't want the clip, like those metal clips can really kind of like interfere with what you're working. These are dry sectioning clips to make sure that it does not dent your work as you're going. So again, spraying the whole section. It's lifted up so I don't spray the hair that I'm working on. Then I'm gonna bring it down, comb this through. Now, hot sets is pretty strong, but again, trust that process because we want the hold on the finer texture of hair. If your hair, if your guest hair or your hair is a little bit thicker, you might use something a little bit less hold, like a um, iron shake instead of a hot sets. And all I'm doing is just pressing like this. It is super easy to do. I don't have to move my wrist. And as I'm pressing, it's not like I don't have to squeeze the iron and put like a lot of muscle to it. You know, I'm starting to think with my intro, maybe I'll take the time that I've been doing hair, uh, hair out of it. I'm like the whole two decade thing and 14 year thing. But what I will say with that, I'm super grateful for all the opportunities. I'm just starting to think, I don't know if I want to go past the two decade, maybe just behind the chair. Um, but what I will say is, yes, like you're, you know, one of the things, many things I love about Sam Via brand is like the tools are designed to make sure that our bodies are actually working, you know, not so hard on the technique, the shears, the irons, the blow dryers. Um, so everything's designed to help the hairstyle so that like, we are not affecting us physically because if your hairstyles out there, show us some love because you know our days can be quite physical. And, you know, the last thing you want to do is be causing some damage with your tools that you're using. So when I started to use this single waiver iron, I was like, oh my God, I can't tell how many times I've taken a flat iron and you guys can see these in and out movements and you really have to like go like this to your wrist to get that movement from a flat iron. And this does it literally in one step. So this has, this iron and the double waiver iron have 100% been my go-to irons for setting any of my like loose, effortless, boho styles. You know, we have done a curling iron, and I'm gonna show you, I just might even use a curling iron on top of this, but how do you do something different? And changing your tools is a major way that you can get a different end result. So this is what you want it to look like. I'm gonna step out so you guys can see. So because of the right prep that we did from the guts and the hot sets and the size of my sections, you can see how like imprinted this is. You definitely want it to look like this so that when we start to rake it out and we put it up, whether you do like a loose ponytail or a boho bun, that you then will still be able to see it. So don't think that this is too much. This actually means that you did it right. So high five to you for putting all the prep in and trusting the process that it needs to be stiff for it to get loose. I always compare it to like, if you've ever done like just like a loose break, if you've ever done a loose braid, give me, oh yeah, in that chat box. So when you do a loose braid, when you start the braid, it's not that you start with like a really loose braid. You have to start with something that's tighter so that you have the control first. So we always want the control first and then loosen it up. So the prep with that guts on the hair dry. And that does not take long. It's essential. So anytime you're gonna do some waving or styling techniques to your guests, even if they're just leaving after a color or a haircut, because I know a lot of us don't just blow dry, I guess we do more styling. If you do more styling than just a blow dry, give me a yes I do in that chat box because I know it's not just me, that that's a huge part of our service. 
So I'm going to take this, split this section, take this. And the thing about styling is I teach a lot of salon professionals. I'm super grateful to have so many opportunities to travel the world globally to do this. And when I teach salon professionals, you know, one thing that I am often like aware of is like I see a lot of social media of what we're producing, a lot of hair color, which of course I'm a colorist and I love teaching hair color. But our guests want to know how to style their hair. They want to know how I can wear it different for the weekend. They want to know like what's trending, what's new, a new way. And you know, if we're not teaching them, they're gonna go and search like how to wave their hair. So be the one to teach them how to do it. Share with them like what's new and what's trending. And honestly, a new waiver giving this in and out movement is super, super popular and gonna save you so much time to get a cool look. So just working that product through these one inch sections. Now here I'm horizontal on my sections. Now Abby's hair, the back of her hair, she just like most people has more density than the sides. That's pretty common. If it was like really, really dense, depends on what the look is, I could change my parting. So right now I'm working horizontally. Let me spin it around just like this, okay? Now, if I wanted to make sure that I maintained all the length and she had really high density of hair, like Ashley, who's in the video, I would start to take not horizontal sections, but I would actually work vertical. So I would take panels of the hair and work vertical to set this versus horizontal. So think principles of lines, like whether you're doing hair color or styling or design, it's all gonna influence your end results. So if I want to build weight on this and I want this to look super, super full, which I do because I like my hair. So I want this to look super, super full with Abby's density, I'm gonna take these sections horizontal. So I just have a few more, work that hot sets through. And if you notice too, it wasn't one spray of hot sets. It was like five or six. So making sure that we put enough product on that hair. Here's the iron, single waver, using this to set Abby's hair. So just slide the iron in and just press. And I don't have to like press hard, the iron does the work for me. So it's super fast. And what we're looking for is these deep in and out waves. The one thing I would say too about this in and out movement is when we're taking photos of our work, some hair textures, hair colors, all the things don't read well if we have more of like a twisty beach wave. So this is another opportunity, like you can see how it's like reflecting her color differently than if I would have taken a typical iron and just done a beach wave on it. So sometimes we just need to change up our methods to get different results. So working this product through, just have two more sections and then I'm gonna take you guys through one of my favorite ways to do like a faux braid. So if you're excited to learn a new way to do a half up, half down, uh, give me a big caps lock. I am in that chat box. So just sliding this iron in and just press and working my way down. And I'm going pretty close to the base Obviously, like, you know, just like most techniques, you can always combine techniques. So don't always think that you just have to do this. Maybe you do want to pair it with using a um, wand iron. So something to consider to change up and um, give you different options is like, maybe I do some waves and then I do some like spiral tongs with a wand iron. So there's one last section and this is just three passes. And the other thing, try different size sections. Like once you first get the iron, single waiver iron available August 1st, or the double waiver, because I really like this one too, 40% off the whole month of July, just so you guys know, because when I heard that, I was like, I'm sorry, what? 40% off. Um, try different size sections on the density. So here's what the hair looks like prepped. See how crisp this looks? This is what we want to make sure that it still has the hold once we shake this out, okay? So now I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Invisible Dry Shampoo from Redken because it's gonna give even more texture to Abby's natural hair. And what I'm gonna do is just lift up the hair from the bottom and spray the underneath. So just section by section, spray the underneath. It depends on how loose you really want this and how done, how undone that you want it. So typically when it comes to like how I'm gonna finish the hair, I'll start with my hands first. 
So we use our hands for a lot of styling techniques and a lot of tools. So this is one way that I would start to break this up. And I would just see like, as I'm doing this, like, is this enough? Like, do I like what's happening? Is this enough broken up? When we start to change our tools, we're gonna change the way that the hair looks. So just kind of like shaking it out, see like how cool this texture is. Like even if we were to just pull this back into a low ponytail, super, super pretty. Like you can picture a soft romantic updo, like how beautiful this would be. You could take it up a notch if you're like, oh, I wanna see what that layered texture is. This is the two-in-one iron from Sambia, the one inch. So I just took the barrel off. And let's say you're like, well, I just, I love the texture, but maybe like, I just wanna see something like layer it a little bit. So I have multiple textures. So I'm just gonna take the iron there to that front piece and just kind of like slide and glide on a couple pieces in the front. So always think like, it's not just like one way we do things, it's the way that we combine things and see how that just changed the whole front area. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm just wrapping and sliding the iron. So this is gonna give another like, just like loose face framing, but built on top of the texture we already did with this um, single waver, it looks, would you agree, it looks different and even more natural than if I just had ironed it by itself. So because now we've built on that texture. Let me do like maybe two more just so that we can get a little bit more on the side here. So first we did that single waver with a trap of dry mousing with guts. And then we went in with our hot sets and we built this like beautiful, like undone texture. And now I'm just taking the two in one iron and a couple pieces on the top, just to give a little bit of a different texture on that very top layer. So just thinking about like how you would modify this for your guests. If I want to compress or change the texture even more, then I'm gonna come in with a wide tooth comb. So I'm just working the texture out even more this way and just breaking it up. Again, like see how like we still see the texture. It's all because we had the prep on there with this iron. If we don't prep the hair, especially on a guest with fine hair, once you get to this point, it's like, see, it's getting it like really frothy and full, but still defined and shiny. Once we get to this point, if we didn't put that prep there, we would lose it all. So I really want to make sure that it's set up so I don't lose the texture, that I just like get it to even like a better space. So I'm like, see how shiny that is. Okay. So I'm loving the way that this looks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just working this back to see like how much hair I would maybe want to keep out in the front. So abby has got to work today. She is wanting just something cool, loose, and easy. So I'm just gonna take some of the front out on this side. So like a diagonal back there, okay? Just to start my first section. So basically a little bit of the top of the hair and the crown, okay? So a little bit of the top and the crown, bringing this back. And now what I'm gonna do is just put this into a loose ponytail. I'm just gonna have a look down. So see, like I love the texture that's happening here. It just looks natural. And sometimes, don't take this like the wrong way. Sometimes the guest doesn't want the hair to look like done done, but done. So it's like, we gotta find ways to like, just make it look cool. And I think like the more like undone it can look, the cooler it can be. So then I'm putting a ponytail in here. So just the top and the crown, a loose ponytail like this, and I'm just gonna pull some bits out to loosen up that texture. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come from one side, make sure my face isn't in there and we just have Abby's hair. That's what we really wanna see. And I'm gonna bring a piece over here on the side again. Now I'm just using my fingers because I have a clean section, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Like you could even, take your fingers and like do like a little bit like zigzaggy in there or a tail cone, depends on like what's your preference. But I'm just taking a, maybe like a two inch section of hair here and I'm gonna take it to that ponytail and I'm gonna wrap it around it. So take that section, wrap it around and now I'm gonna put this piece that went around that ponytail over and around 
and I'm just going to use a pin curl clip and clip it into place. I'm going to come over to the other side, and again, like I said, it's kind of nice to have this like imperfect kind of sectioning. So I'm going to take another piece, just so you guys can see, making a little bit of a zigzag parting, two inch section from the front, and I'm going to grab all this hair here. And now this is also going to do the same thing. It's going to come over that ponytail right here and just bring it to the opposite side. So now we have these two bits that went over and around that ponytail and just use some pink curl clips to clip it into place. So there's your ponytail center. Make sure you guys can see. Move this over here a little bit. And there's your two sections. We're gonna do this one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, because I just want a little bit more here uh, pinned up. So I'm gonna grab that one more section, a little bit of that zigzag parting. This section now, again, really two inch section, come bring it over that ponytail and around to the opposite side. Use that pin curl clip, clip it out of the way. So this is the thing about braiding, faux braiding that I love is like, it's easy because I'm using these clips to like help me with the hair. I don't have to worry about, I think sometimes the challenge with braiding is like you have so much in your hands and you're like, ah, how do I do this? How do I hang on to all this hair? So then over and around this section. And again, I'm just going to use that clip that I already had and I would add it to that or it would drop out for a second, but we're just going to pick it up. So see how easy it is to find that section. Okay. So here is the two pieces on this side here. Okay. So now what we can do, so here is our ponytail. We have our two pieces here. So I want to make sure you guys can see that we wrapped over and around that ponytail. All you need to do is just roll those pieces over it like this. So I just wrapped them over. I'm gonna come in with a bobbing pin or I could even grab an elastic. So whatever your preference is. And I'm just gonna put that into place right there, okay? I could take this hair, let me show you what that would look like. With the elastic too. So if you know me, I am all about options. I like to share as much as I possibly can in a short amount of time. So I might share with you guys more than one way to do things like using three different irons on how to wave this hair. So I could take this and wrap it over and put an elastic there. So whatever your preference is, but for now I just used a bobby pin or you can even grab a clip and hold it into place. So that hair that's wrapped over from those sections. Now we're gonna grab those other two sections, drop your pin curl clip out here. So if you think this is like super easy and simple, it is super easy and simple and it's gonna look beautiful. So here's those two sections here, and I would wrap them over and connect them with the hair that's underneath. So I'm just gonna drop that clip. So now I have all of that hair that I wrapped over and under, and I'm just connecting it to that bottom ponytail there. So now I have all of this together. So see this pattern that it creates there? Kind of looks like a braid. We have this super textury with a single waiver iron. Depends on like what your preference is like, what the finish is. We can make this even more textury. We can make this smoother. I like the texture. So I'm just gonna use a mini elastic and just bring this all together here. And what I love about this is how easy it is. I can teach my guests how to do it. And now you have the options of like pulling this apart, tightening it, pulling this apart, tightening it. So it really depends on like how big you want this to look. I want this to look super boho and loose. So I am going to adjust and pull this apart. And even on the middle here, so I'll look at these pieces and start pulling these out. So I love when things look like, not totally sure like exactly how we figure this, how we put this together, but simple at the same time. So I'm just loosening, I'm pulling the ends of the point tail here, that's gonna tighten this. So what I would say is like, play around, like start to loosen it and then tighten it and then loosen it and tighten it and see what kind of finish that you actually like with this. I could take this technique and do this all the way down and just have a big braid. So it really, like there's so many options with this like simplicity of this ponytail in the middle, now that the hair is set with the waver. So let's turn it to the side and see what's going on here. So again, just pulling this out. I'm gonna come up with a little bit of wax blast. This is one of my favorite hairsprays to use while I'm finishing here because it's got a lot of shine to it. So I'm just using my fingers. 
kind of lifting this hair up and breaking this up a little bit more. And then these mids and ends. And again, I want to like see a little bit more volume here and just breaking up that texture from that single waiver that we already prepped with. And now you can see too here, like see how when I took the single, um, the one inch iron, how it just gave even more like of a natural finish here on the texture. So it's kind of like, you're like, what kind of texture is that? How'd they get that? Did she braid her hair and sleep with it overnight, which a lot of people do, which like, not everybody has time for that. So I didn't even put any pins in it yet. And I really like the way it looks. You could, but this was literally just the ponytail and wrapping the hair around. So just coming in with that wax blast because I want to kind of break up this texture here and add a little bit more shine to it. And again, using my fingers to break up the texture down here. So again, we set the whole hair using the brand new single waiver iron. This is coming out August 1st. This gives this very cool, like in and out motion here a little bit. Um, more is the double waiver. It looks a little bit more like, definitely looks more like a braid. This looks more like this cool, like in and out waiver. I did on the top, I took the two in one iron and all I did was just a few pieces, especially by the fringe, I just loosely wrap this around and then slide the iron in and out. So this method right here is one of my favorite ways to make also like a super like really effortless wave that doesn't look like a curling iron. So as beautiful as curling irons are, I'm not usually trying to have my hair look like it was totally set in the curling iron. I want it to look like really cool and natural. So finding ways to like just change some of the patterns it's going to give it that like more of like a cool girl look but that combination of just a couple of those pieces on top of the single waiver is what's making this look even more like effortless and undone then we just did like a really quick ponytail center and wrapped it around back and forth now her color is beautiful on its own it's super dimensional so we can see lots of separation i could always like take something like a braid clip and add detail to it. So these are something that I've shown before that I love because I think they're really easy to use in the salon uh, for added detail. So I could add a little bit of detail using this if I wanted more pop of separation. So like something like this, especially think like it's summer, you know, where are people going? Where are your guests going? Festivals, you know, weekend out. So something like this is just easy to add a little bit of detail on top of it but I love the way her hair looks just with her color, but wanted to share with you guys another styling hot tip that I would do is just adding some accessories. And these are good too, because like they're not expensive. So they're easy for you to keep in the salon and just like give to your guests so that they have other ways to, to dress it up. So let's spin around in the front see what she's looking like in the front. If we like the volume, if we have enough height to it. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. She looks perfect. So super cool, effortless, half up, half down, boho style. Let's see it from the side. And I can even push here like this if you're like, oh, I don't like that separation there. Pull this a little bit there, push this back. And again, we just want this a little really easy. I kept it lower. I did half up, half down. You definitely can take this higher and do something um, a little bit fuller here. This, we were going for like easy boho finish. So I what, cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this new iron or this is a single waiver. So this is August 1st or the double waiver iron. And here's what I would love to see. I wanna see how you would take this look and transform it and make it your own. Tag me and tag the Sambia team so that we can see all the beautiful hair that you create. Because the thing about it is like, you are going to put your own personal style on this. So I can share all the tips and tricks and you can now take this video and rewatch it and try it out yourself. And you're gonna put your own style on. So I can't wait to see some of the beautiful hair that you guys create. Again, prep the hair with the guts first on the dry mousseing and coming in with an iron or two or three because we did end up using, we did the single waver. It's so cool looking. Uh, and then we went in with the two in one iron just to uh, give a, even more detail around the face and a few of those pieces. So always think like, it's not just about what one tool can do, it's just like the soft combination of a few of them. And I can just kind of like use my fingers to like loosen this up, but. I don't know, Katie, I think she looks pretty beautiful and boho-y and ready to, to go to, to work or to go out or the festival, wherever she's going uh, today, tomorrow, the next day, because it'll last because all the prep.
I love it. There was only one question. You did such a good job communicating that it made such a cool look. Um, can you show if there are heat settings? Um oh, great question. Yes, there are. So it starts at 430 and goes all the way down to 280. So I was using it at the 430 for Abby's density. I would say, you know, try, especially if your guest is like fine and really, really blonde, turn down the heat. Um, but I was also using heat styling, heat setting products to to protect the hair too as well. So there's definitely different options depending on the texture type. Um, I would just try to turn it down if they're very, very fine. Abby's hair is is it's like deceiving. Like we were talking when we we started prepping her hair before we started, and like it is fine, but she definitely has a, a pretty decent amount of the hair too. So we we kept it at the 4:30. So that was a great question. Thank you guys so much for watching and re-watching. And again, I can't wait to see the beautiful hair that you guys are going to try and create. Awesome. And create. Yeah. You look so cool, Abby, and I love watching um, the process behind how you get that end result, Lindsay, because it really is like, and I love how you say, tell your client, trust the process, because yeah. there's a lot of prep, but it's a foundation for a style that will last, and it looks so dimensional, so beautiful. Thank you very much. I can't wait to try this because, yeah, braiding dexterity sometimes it catch you up <laughs> yeah it was literally like there was no hair in my hands at some points right like which is so easy you're using the clips and just letting it like wrap over it so there's so many and think like where you position this the whole head part of the head different hair textures it can look like a thousand million different ways so i can't wait to see what you guys create absolutely yeah all right thank you Lindsay. you guys make sure you give her a follow on instagram and tiktok lindsay.marie Dot Wilson. She's always posting inspirational ideas for styling and color and cutting. So give her a follow. Thank you, Abby, for joining us as well as the live model. We appreciate it.